An expert in suicide prevention says Spokane County can do more to prevent inmates from taking their own lives behind bars. According to a new report, Spokane County inmates are far more likely than other uh, inmates in other county jails to take their own lives. And that's part of why jail leaders ask a national consultant to come to Spokane and look at what they're doing now to prevent inmate suicides. The answer came in the form of a 55-page report. KXY4's Ariana Lake requested to see that report and read it from front to back. Ariana? Yeah, and that report says that the preventive measures in place now are adequate. It went on to detail more than a dozen ways the Spokane County Jail could improve. What happens inside this building has come under criticism and questioning in Spokane County. People at this September rally want to know why eight inmates died, including at least three by suicide, within 14 months. Well, we're asking to take a look at the policies, um, take a look at um, how we are viewing people when they come into jail. A few weeks after that activism, Spokane County Detention Services Director John McGrath invited a jail suicide prevention specialist to Spokane. Lindsay M. Hayes just returned his report to the county. He evaluated eight policy points spanning from staff training to inmate housing and suicide intervention. In his report, he called current policies adequate. He suggested staff avoid isolating suicidal inmates. He wrote that conditions for them were in many ways harsher than for those on segregation status. He noted that some suicidal inmates had to sleep on mats on the floor instead of in bunks and were sometimes left in small holding cells alone for one or two days. Hayes said most inmates on suicide precautions were allowed to keep their jumpsuits on instead of wearing a safety smock. He called that an excellent policy. Spokane County leaders have yet to respond to his findings. But in a past interview with Commissioner Josh Kearns, he said they were dedicated to keeping inmates safe. If there's something that, that looks like it could be an issue, I mean, we're, we're going we're gonna to jump on it as quick as possible. Before Hayes' visit, the jail issued rescue hooks to cut people down when they tried to hang themselves, and they replaced sheets with blankets to prevent hangings. Hayes ended his report by saying he believes if his suggestions are implemented, future suicides could be reduced. This report included 55 pages. I broke it all down for you on our website, kxly.com. You can go there for the story now. I do want to add Hayes is an independent consultant, so what he said does not have to be implemented. And I'll be following up with the county to see if they're going to take any of those practices into the Spokane County Jail. Reporting live outside the jail, Ariana Lake, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Ariana.